Welcome to the last video in our exclusive series about the new X12. In this video I will show you the final car and all its new features. Let's get to it. So just like before, the kit will come in a US or EU configuration. For example, this car here has the US chassis on it, the solid aluminium chassis, and it comes with a solid axle for the rear. This is better suited for high grip tracks, which we find typically in the US. We also have the EU edition here, which has a flex aluminium chassis with more cutouts for more flex to generate more grip for low to medium grip conditions. It also comes with a standard ball differential in the rear. So the new chassis plates accommodate for the new direct servo mounting, for the new center pod pivot, and the graphite side braces. It comes in three configurations, um, solid aluminum, aluminum flex, and also in an optional graphite chassis. The chassis now has chamfered edges, which means that the chassis have been rounded at the sides. This helps to reduce um, friction against the surface, which helps to improve cornering speeds. The sidling mounting positions have been updated for the new car. They've now been moved further inwards to help generate more steering, especially on power. So the most inward position is a lot more inward than before, and we feel that this is beneficial for the handling of the car. We have the all new graphite side braces, which are included in the kit. They can be fixated in three different spots. To the back carbon plate, to the middle of the car, and to the front of the car. By using these three points, you can alter the flex characteristics for different track conditions. And it's a quick and easy change you can do uh, while at a track. And we feel that this uh, makes the car handle a lot better, and you can quickly change the, the feeling for different conditions. We have an all new aluminium center pivot system, which not only helps to uh, prevent tweak, but also mounts a lot lower to lower the roll center, the center of gravity, and to improve the handling of the car.
So the all new center pod pivot system can also be adjusted by mounting it forwards or backwards. And this is a unique feature on our car, that by shifting these screws, you can actually move it two millimeter forwards or backwards. And this has a big effect on the handling, which you can quickly change in the pit. At the rear of the car, we now have one-piece bulkheads for maximum durability and to eliminate tweak issues. They're pinned to the bottom plate as well as the top plate to keep them in line in all situations. So the rear pod upper plate has been redesigned to fit four screws instead of two and is also kept in line with centering pins. We have an all new completely redesigned front end on the car. It's been redesigned to have more durability uh, be tweak free and to handle better in all conditions. This is partly because of the use of a single arm front suspension mount instead of the split front arms on the previous models. The redesigned front suspension also features a kingpin with built-in camber. It's a four millimeter kingpin for maximum durability. And because of that, we can also utilize a big bore spring in the front, which makes the damping smoother. And not only that, but we also have a new graphite uh, composite steering block, which reduces friction. It's really durable and makes the damping uh, really smooth. The all-new front suspension also features a built-in flex system. Thanks to this stiffener in the front, we have the option to run without it, or we can use it with small posts for an in-between flex setting, or we can mount it directly to the front arm for maximum stiffness. These three flex settings all work for different types of track conditions for maximum adjustability.
have an updated center shock position for improved steering and steering response. The shock has been moved further back in the car, is now mounted more towards the, the center pivot, and it's also been shortened a bit. And this new position improves handling in all conditions. In addition to that, we also have updated center shock springs, which are stiffer to work better with a solid axle and to improve the steering response. The rear graphite brace have been revised to be able to mount the graphite side braces to it. So it now has mounting positions here and here. And it still utilizes the O-ring system for quick and easy fixation of the battery pack. We now have a ultra-low CG uh, servo mounting system, which has the servo mounted directly to the chassis. And it also utilizes slots in the bottom so that you can move the servo to the exact center of the car, depending on what size of servo you use. And this allows for maximum adjustability for all types of servos. We have an updated front bumper design to work with all current rules, including IFMAR and EFRA. And it's been redesigned to follow the shape of the front foam bumper. So it's still functioning really well. It's just been uh, changed into a different shape. Last but not least, we have a really cool looking stealth black color, which makes the car look really techy and aggressive. And I personally like it very much. Thank you for watching our exclusive series about the all-new X12. I'm personally very happy to present this new car to you and hope that you will enjoy racing it at both club level and world championship level. So thank you again and enjoy!